Okay guys, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be turning these 2D planning drawings, uh, such as this one, so open it up a little more, um, into a 3D model. So uh, what we've got is we've got, um, it's going to be a two-story building. We've got a reference image here, so we can see you know, what we're aiming for, what our final uh, product needs to look like. Um, so yeah, some, some interesting things we need to do. Obviously there's going to be staircases and things inside. Um, there needs to be obviously a, a second floor, balcony and all this kind of stuff going on here. So um, yeah, let's just get started, I suppose. So what we need to do first of all is bring these images into 3ds Max uh, to use as a reference. So what I'm going to do for that is just cre to create a plane. Um, and what I do is I get the size of the image and then scale my plane off of that to keep the sort of ratio of the image from being stretched or squashed. So let's go to details, 760, 578. So go over here, 760, 578. All right, I'm gonna push G to get rid of the grid. And Z, uh, Z will uh, sort of snap or zoom in to whatever model or object you have selected. And I'm going to create a material so that I can bring this uh, this in. Um, so what you'll find in more uh, up-to-date versions of 3ds Max is the uh, the default um, render engine. It doesn't. I've already set my scan line, but often it will be Arnold. Um, so if you just want the the real, just basic material, because um, you know we're not doing anything fancy right now with materials, just change that renderer to scan line, and then in your material editor you'll have this scan line option, and you'll have the option to add just a standard material, um, which is. Uh, really just universally useful material to be honest. Um, if you're exporting and going into things like uh, Unreal Engine then it, it exports well, you know, it's useful. So anyway, I'm going to get my image. If I just actually drag that into 3ds then it's a nice quick way to add this bitmap reference and then I'm going to select or link it to the diffuse color. Great, so my material's ready. And then I'm going to apply it. Okay, and there it is. But instantly we can see, uh, if I look at it from top down, that it looks a bit stretched. You know, that table is uh, a little stretched compared to the reference image where it's a kind of a perfect circle. So I can tell that these are the wrong way around. So um, 578. Sorry about that. Five seven. <laughs> Come on. Five seven eight can go there, and then seven sixty can go there. There we go, and I can see that's the right way round. Okay, so I've got my reference image there, ready to go. I'm also going to right click all these to zero down here, so that it's nice and centered in the world. And lastly, I want to freeze this so I don't accidentally, you know, move it around when I'm modeling. So. It's going to go to this, uh, sorry, this display tab over here. Go down, and where it says Show Frozen in Grey, I want that off. Um, and then what I can do is over here, I can just click this Frozen uh, sort of icon there, and then there we go. I can no longer select or do anything with that. Great. So if I go back to my reference images, you'll notice I've also got a first floor. You can bring that in now if you want to. I'm not using it yet, so that's fine. And we've got this rear elevation. So I'm going to bring this one in as well, actually, now. Um, so I'm going to create a, another plane. And just do the same thing. So uh, let's get rid of that one. This is 600 by 347. Five, three, four, seven. Okay, I can already tell that's the wrong way around. So <laughs> let's 
do that. Um, let's go back to my material editor, get myself another standard material. Uh, try and line things up. Let's drag that guy in through there. Just doing the same thing, apply that material. And there we go. So let's center this one as well. You can already see that this uh, image and obviously the plane is smaller than the other one. Um, and of course, this isn't going to line up. So I can show you now if you, know, you have this issue um, with plans you've been provided where we can just line these up. So first of all, I'm going to get my rotate tool, uh, E on the keyboard. And I'm going to turn on up here keep going freezes for some reason. Okay, and I'm going to turn this 90 degrees. There we are. I'm going to bring this over here and I want to line this up essentially. So I'm going to have to do a bit of manual scaling, which is fine. Uh, but what I want to do is find kind of a reference point where I can match up the images so that I know it's uh, it's scaled correctly. So these little lines here, or should I say the edge of the building, which is kind of this line there, that line there, those outer lines, they need to line up with the edge of the building here and here. So um, it's kind of a case of positioning things kind of where you want it to be, somewhere like that. And um, kind of scale from the middle. Don't scale like this way, because obviously then you're just stretching the image. You need to stretch, uh, scale from the center. It's moving between W and E until those are lined up. So that looks good that side. That looks good that side. You know, this image isn't, uh, perfect because it's got, you know, there's slightly blurry and things like that, but um, when you're doing a visualization, if you're like millimeters out, you know, it's really, you can get away with that. So then we can, um, I suppose, align it vertically as well, so that the floor of the building is bang on the surface of our other reference image. So about there. Okay. So I can see now that that is lined up. Um, and because I kept the ratio of the images the same, um, that is all ready to go. Okay. And I just move it off in the Y axis because it doesn't really matter where it is in this Y axis here, because I'm just use, going to be using it uh, in another view um, as a reference. So that is essentially ready to go. Um, don't forget to freeze this one as well. Show frozen and gray off. Freeze. Okay, and that's your reference images set up. And uh, yeah, we'll be ready for the next bit.